I've made a number of mistakes <laughs> along the way. Um, um, when you uh, when you make, I feel like if there's a scientific mistake, so uh, when I uh, publish something and it turns out that the conclusion that was drawn wasn't completely correct, then it's the responsibility of the scientist to then do the experiments uh, and publish the, the correct answer. But in that sense, uh, science is very uh, self-correcting. Um, because if something is published and it's important um, and it's wrong, then a number of other people will find out uh, that it's wrong. Although that may take uh, a number of years uh, and people, some people may be, uh, be led astray. So I think that the real importance is to um, not be um, necessarily attached uh, to um, a particular idea, um, with the uh, you know the idea that um, you know telomere shortening plays some role in um, in, in cell death, say um, the uh, the thing that we would like to do is to test that idea. Um, and uh, one thing that I think that creeps into people's thinking sometimes is that they want to prove a hypothesis. Um, and I never think about proving a hypothesis, but rather think about different ways to um, test the hypothesis. Uh, and this was something that I think I learned very early on uh, in uh, Liz Blackburn's lab when we first uh, had discovered uh, something that looked like it was elongating telomeres. And then uh, a period of about nine months went by where we set up to ask ourselves, is it really true that we've discovered uh, a new enzyme? And we uh, came up with a variety of methods to shoot down our own hypothesis. Maybe we're being fooled uh, because it's a uh, normal DNA polymerase that's just making this and it looks like it's something new. Or maybe we're being fooled in a different direction. And then after the uh, discovery withstood the test of nine months of uh, attacks from our own uh, standpoint about how could we shoot ourselves down, then I started to really believe that it was true. And so that really taught me that it's most important to be critical of your own hypothesis rather than uh, to be a cheerleader for it. And, and I have a, um, a little bit of a, um, uh, a fear of, against uh, people just cheerleading for ideas. Rather, I, I think it's more important to test them because that's how you then move forward. Uh, because many ideas are going to be wrong. And if you test an idea and find out it's wrong, you can go in another direction. Uh, but if you're a cheerleader for idea, an idea, it may uh, last uh, for a longer period of time, even if it's not correct. <laughs>